This transmitter belongs to a good friend of mine, Michael. He started out with the original plans and kept modifying it and modifying it and learning about different ways to construct a transmitter and has come up with this model. We take a closer look at the top of this you see the um, power transformer and to its right that is a rather substantial audio transformer which is needed for this modification. Looking at this picture you can see the 6L6 and to its left is the 6SA7, the oscillator tube but you'll notice that there's two more tubes in the background and one of the modifications that Michael did was to add an audio amplifier to the transmitter. Here is an overall look at the inside of his transmitter. I'll zoom in here a little bit. This is the DC power supply and here's part of the oscillator circuit and also the volume controls for his audio input. There's two volume controls on that one control. This picture is right above where we were at and the tube socket about in the center is the 6L6 and to its left is the oscillator tube socket, the 6SA7. And here is the wiring diagram that Michael sent me and I also have provided a link to all these pictures in the description of this video or about this video. You can see that it's uh, quite a modification and this modification should yield just about the best audio that you could get from a 6L6 transmitter. Okay, let's take a closer look. The power supply is about the same. He used a different tube, but that doesn't really matter. And also the 6SA7 oscillator circuit is almost identical to the original. But here to the left is the audio circuit that he added. A 6EU6 and a 6AQ5. So he's got two inputs here and either one of those triodes or both of them at the same time can drive an audio signal to that 6AQ5. Now that 6AQ5 is driving that large audio transformer that I pointed out earlier. And if we take a look at what's on the other side of that transformer, it is connected into the cathode circuit of the 6L6. Now pin 5 goes down to the oscillator and that's how the carrier is created but that transformer that's connected to the cathode that is what is modulating the current going through the 6L6 and this should be the best audio quality that you could achieve with a 6L6 by modulating the cathode current. Michael has come up with a very nice high quality modification to this 6L6 transmitter. And I do have his drawing and all these pictures including a parts list that he used at the link in this about this video.